Wow, it's dark. All right, team, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Mrs. Duggar's bike's ready to go. I haven't test ridden it, but I think it'll go. It needs a little oil on the chain. These two file cabinets had gotten buried back against the wall over here. So we dug them out. We're doing, we're doing a big reset in here. Um, we brought all our appliances in to work them, um, and then I got sidetracked because it didn't seem like there's a lot of space in here. So I got sidetracked doing some uh, resetting because uh, I got buckets all over the place of just half-done stuff that we're going to try and get those sorted out because I only picked up two bike frames today, which I'm not even going to... I'm just going to let the bikes pile up again, and then I'll work them. It's, it's easier just because I get out the tools and do the same thing over and over and over. Anyway, we'll work on this more tomorrow. We're done for the day. Uh, Wednesday afternoon, we picked up, uh, I guess, two bike frames, two wheels, and a trampoline frame. We've been stripping stuff today. These two dishwashers are done. Uh, that white one has been loaded up with all my buckets of metal. Uh, we're going to do dryers. we got three dryers to do. We already did the three clothes washers. We left the lids up so they can fill up with water. <laughs> Actually, we left the lids up so I can... Uh, throw the extra junk inside them but anyway um, so our trailer is not super full but we did get three washers done uh, they're up in the front because I've added up we got four dryers and two dishwashers which is enough to do a tailgate so I went ahead and put the washers up in the front because we're not going to use them for tailgate and they're heavier so they'll bounce the trailer out more we haven't worked any buckets but we are still living kind of clean from our organization yesterday. Anyway, this is from doing the appliances. We'll hit that bucket later. Uh, it's the consoles. I think I've been through those before. But Anyway, that's it for today, guys. We're going to do some more dryers, and uh, hopefully we can just get caught up. Thursday afternoon, we uh, picked up a storm door today. It's aluminum, not aluminum skin over wood, but uh, just plain aluminum. So we're going to strip it tomorrow, though. It's late for me. Uh, we finished our dryers today. We didn't get them done yesterday, but they're done now. So every appliance we have in stock right now is stripped. We still need to do the tow to wiring and consoles that I stripped off. Um, separate that out so we can make a little more money. These are what I call garbage wire. I'm sure these are all the, I mean, I'm never going to strip this. This is just all the wire I have no intention of ever stripping. And I'm sure some of this stuff is uh, aluminum too. Uh, I throw like the Christmas lights and stuff in here. My uh, scrapyard actually has a price for burnt copper. So if you don't want to strip wire all day, I guess you can uh, throw it in a fire and bring them the remains. And they have a price for that. I, I'm just not going to do that. Some of this I think would just melt away. It's so thin and small. Anyway, that'll be it for today, guys. Thursday, I forgot. Uh, we did dryers. Two of them were clean. One of them uh, obviously had somebody who didn't clean out their pockets. So we managed to score $2.34 and change. Catch you tomorrow, guys. Team. Saturday afternoon. We skipped Friday. We didn't do much anyway. I don't even think we picked anything up. Um, but today we got our, uh, we tested our uh, light converter on our Jeep. It was defective, so the weather's nice. I think we're going to wire in the new one because we got a replacement one. We never did the storm door. We might do it this afternoon. Oh, and we found a bunch of aluminum. We just didn't manage to get run with our, uh, our load the other day. So anyway, 
I probably split that off into a separate video because wiring this thing up would probably make this one too long. We uh, went for a drive. Now oh, it's Sunday afternoon, by the way. Went for a drive after we fixed this. Well, I guess fixed the whole thing. Anyway, Sunday afternoon, Saturday, after we fixed our tail light, we replaced our uh, converter box. We picked up uh, three grills. I'm sure these are cast aluminum, these two. Uh, I'm sure that's fakey stainless. I haven't put a magnet. That's probably stainless. But I'd be surprised if the whole thing's stainless. Uh, we got a shower door, just so I could have the aluminum off the side. Uh, my scrapyard magnetic stainless steel is just junk. You get the lowest price for that. The non-magnetic stainless steel, I think you get like 20 cents, somewhere around there. These are also at the location, so we picked up this wood, or faux wood uh, file cabinet. And this little uh, faux wood, uh, I don't know what that is, I guess that's supposed to be a nightstand. Anyway, we'll see if we can sell those for 5 or 10 bucks. Team, Sunday night, or... I guess Monday, early, early morning. Uh, it's about 12.30. Uh, we're going to do an overnight scrap again. I don't think I'll touch these buckets. Uh, we staged up our three grills in here. So we can, because uh, these are cast aluminum, we're going to strip those down. And this guy is actually uh, the non-magnetic stainless they pay me more for. I'm guessing this is aluminum, but all these panels, uh, these are steel, but all these panels are uh, non-magnetic, so we're going to strip this guy down a lot. And then uh, all the valves, back behind here, the valves are usually brass. Uh, oh, I think that's about it on these guys. We just grab the aluminum stuff and the, the brass valves. Usually there's, well, we take that fitting off to this guy. I throw that in with my brass. Um, and sometimes these are aluminum. Sometimes it's actually a, a brass cap instead of that. Uh, this part's actually brass. That one, I'm guessing that one might be steel. Well, uh, let me grab maggot. That one's aluminum. Uh, and this is, like I said, that's all non-magnetic, except for these legs. Oh, hey, we picked this up. This is like the real deal, guys. This is a cast iron fire hydrant. Um, it weighs a lot. I don't know what it weighs, but <laughs> it's the real deal. Um, we picked that up Sunday afternoon, and we got ourselves another bike Sunday afternoon. Uh, best I can tell, that's a good bike. It just needs uh, air in the tires. We picked up some other stuff Sunday, along with this load. I can't remember what else. Anyway, we'll do some grills. We'll check back with you. Uh, probably cap off the video in the next segment. Unless I find something just really cool to show you. It's still Monday morning. So this is aluminum. It's crimped onto the steel piece. So we pried it off. But more importantly, I wanted to show you my portable table. So this is our grill base. I probably didn't have to take these off, but I didn't realize this until I'd already taken the side wings off. But uh, I took the grill part out, and I was looking for a place to, to work, and I uh, just took my treadmill deck, threw it up on there, and then I got a rolling work table. Which actually rolls pretty easy, because it's meant to hold the weight of a grill. Uh, I'm just going to use it for tonight, guys. 
I mean, if I was going to keep it, I'd shoot some screws up through the handle here into the bottom of the board or put a carriage bolt through or whatever. I'm sure somebody out there could finish this if they really wanted one. You could use a sheet of plywood too, I'm sure. But I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, because man, that you would not believe how easily you can move that around. Anyway, we're not keeping it. I'm just going to strip it down because I don't need a portable table. I just thought it was really cool, guys. Thought I'd show it to you. Team, still Monday morning early. Uh, we got about halfway through our stainless steel grill. The two cast aluminum ones are done. Uh, we did our shower door and we took the glass out of our storm door because it's Monday and it's trash day and I want to make sure I get that out. I don't want to store that around. Uh, we still need to finish this. Uh, I need to tap it with a hammer and I'm afraid I'm going to wake people up. So I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe go watch a movie or something. Maybe play some Halo Reach. Uh, anyway, end of the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy. We'll catch you next week.